importantly, it's not diversity for diversity's sake. It's diversity for the sake of people that are underrepresented. And no, no, it's not just that. It's diversity for the sake of the story because it's naturally and perfectly built into the story. No, that's true. But I mean, like, it, even if you aren't going to build a story reason for it, it's still fine to do it, I think. Yeah. Oh, no, I agree. Um, see, for me, diversity is a thing where, like, yes, you, you – part of what you need for more diversity is just – you have a general character, and they just happen to be, um, you know, a woman. They happen to be black, whatever. But also, an, a further step in diversity is diverse characters that have to be this way. Um, that you know, you cannot have Black Panther be anything but black. Yeah, and that's the uh, that's what I was gonna say is the only thing where I don't want you to change the race is if it's integral to the character. And I think most reasonable people agree with that. Um, yeah. If you can't make uh, Tom Sawyer, obviously you can't change his race. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a completely different thing at that point. Yeah. yeah. No, that that totally makes sense. Black Panther should never be white. Luke Cage should never be white. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's funny. I saw a, a guy who did a really cool Black Panther mask cosplay on DeviantArt, and he took a picture of it, of, of him wearing the mask, and he was white. I'm like, oh, man, that mask is so cool, but it's just it's kind of killing it that you're white. And he's like, what's that supposed to be? I'm like... Come the fuck on. You know exactly what that is supposed to mean. <laughs> um, 